Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been jealous of you lately and why. Today is the 10th of January 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 9.40 a.m. Okay Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Who has been jealous of Virgo and why? Thanks for being here, Virgo. I still don't have electricity here. <laughs> Hermit, that's you, Virgo. Wow. The tower. Three of Pentacles and one first at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo. You got this. <laughs> this is definitely a jealous queen. Queen of Wands in one first. It's a feminine energy, but doesn't matter. Okay, we have both masculine and feminine energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still a little bit sick, but the Queen of Wands in one first. A jealous queen, right? That's because... This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and could also be a Libra, Gemini, Chris. You may have a couple of people who, who are jealous of you, but there's one that stands out the most, okay? This person has been trying to copy you, spying on you, looking at your social media if you are, if you're active on social media, but it could just be anywhere. They can spy, you know, there's so many ways to spy somebody. Three of Pentacles, here's a love verse. Maybe this is somebody you work with or somebody who wants to do the same kind of work that you do or used to work with. There's something about your success, okay, Virgo? Ten of Pentacles. Either it's your success in money, in relationships, for those of you Virgos who are successful in your re relationship, but there, there are a lot of pentacles here, so leaning towards more, like for like 70-80% of you Virgo, this person could be jealous of everything that you have. Number 10 is a completion number, perfect number, so this person may actually see you as perfect or see you as having, having everything that they don't, okay? Some of you, it may have something to do with your intellect, money, um, any sorts of achievement, mm, family, <laughs> everything, okay, Virgo. Now, remember, this is a general reading. I'm laughing because it's like this Ten of Pentacles, and, and it for each and every one of you is different, right? Because... To some people, wow, this person has everything. That's because they don't have the things that you have, but it may not be really everything, right? Um, because the hermit here feels a bit tunnel visioned um, because there's like this one little lamp guiding this hermit to walk in the dark. So can't really see the surroundings very clearly, but just, you know, something, just the, the, the path in front of this person, right? So to this person, whether it is true or not, okay, they are jealous of you because they think you have everything that they do not have. Most likely it's that, okay? Because I feel like nobody's life is really, really perfect unless they, they fake it <laughs> on social media. But yeah, for some of you, Virgo, literally, you could literally have everything, right? And um, this person may feel like, how come Virgo has this, 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 and that, but then I don't have it, right? So either they try to copy you, a page of swords, or that they try to learn from you. It could be that as well, because the Queen of Wands has a lot of fire in her, right? But it's in reverse, so maybe their fire is diminished because of you, a fire within themselves is diminished because of you. Um, instead of that, I feel Virgo, this person should actually try to, this person should feel more inspired by you than being jealous of you. But it definitely comes with 
uh, a form of jealousy. I see that they they could either they may feel kind of inspired by you or wanting to learn um, from you or learn what you're doing or also. Page of Swords is somebody very suspicious. Now, it, it feels a bit like this energy of like, I suspect that maybe Virgo has this, 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 and that because, because they're doing it um, in a, an illegal way, for example. I'm just giving an example. Okay, um, and the high priestess here in my verse, looking for your secrets. So maybe Virgo, if you are like, externally beautiful um this person could be jealous of your looks okay and also wanting to find out what are your secrets um what do you use you know how to maintain all um, your your skin for example how to make your hair look good or how you do makeup if you're a female um or if you're male male female doesn't matter okay um why is Virgo so fit? What does he or she eat? Eat what? Uh, what kind of gym do they go? Which gym do they go to? Or what kind of exercise workout routine do they do they do? So there, there's a lot of curiosity here on top of being jealous. So it's kind of like I'm jealous of Virgo. So I just want to know how Virgo does this and that. And if this has something to do with work or money. Um, they, it's it's almost like because the hybrids is gonna get secrets right when it's in reverse it's them jealous but also at the same time trying to find out your secrets right the secrets to your success but it could also be trying to find out certain like trying to basically what's that word again where nitpick right nitpicking every small little thing um just to kind of like make themselves feel slightly better and put you down a little bit um, because the high priest is like, I'm, I'm sure Virgo is not that perfect, right? Looking, look at the hermit in the dark and looking for something. So this person would be jealous of you and looking for your flaw, for example. Um, I'm going to give you an, an example. So this is long, long time ago, right? So a friend of mine, she just like, blurted out she's not really my friend anymore because she's just something happened between the two of us but um she was very very rude in front of everybody um calling me calling me dumb ass and i was so upset but i didn't argue with her because we were actually super close and i just basically walked away because we were at a wedding at a wedding table with everybody and she just called me that and there was n she was expressing her opinion about something and she just called me that and I just felt like okay I don't want to start a fight with you in public at our at our best friend's wedding so I'm gonna choose to just walk away so I walked away from this person so now she at one time now in hindsight yeah she most probably was jealous um, one time she, she blurted out something and she's like, oh, you posted a, a picture on your Facebook. This was so long. Instagram didn't even exist then. And she said, um, she said, and me and Jamie, like another girl, me and Jamie were like trying to look if you, if you touched up, like if you, you know, did some touch up on your picture, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, thinking to myself like why would you do that right why would you go looking for something it's almost like I, I i think you know she shouldn't look this good she must have you know touched up on her pic touch up her pictures or something like that so this is why this actually reminded me of that story because the hermit is in the dark right so it's looking for something that maybe isn't even there to begin with and the high precision of verse it's almost like wanting to um expose somebody thinking that they have some secrets maybe virgo you don't have any secrets right you're just doing your own thing and um, these people are just going to try and find your flaw your faults and but also at the same time very 
you know, inspired by you because we've got the inspiration card here with the Ace of Wands. Um, I do read this as because um, it's a fire energy, so you do inspire this person in some way, shape, or form. Also, looking for your flaw at the same time, like literally zooming in. I remember she said we zoomed in your picture and then we were looking to see if I don't even understand the point of her doing that to begin with. Um, and then I became a blogger. This was again a long time ago, and she was following my footsteps too like she started become a blogger and she asked me for a lot of you know tips and whatever and i freely gave it to her and i also have a friend who wanted to start a tarot channel which i um of course she's not that experienced but i still i still um i still encouraged her i still encouraged her i said try it you know try it and and you know, you never know. But she she abandoned her channel after like just a few months because she was like, I don't know, it's super hard. But anyway, um, Queen of Wands, again, it's in reverse, right? And we've also got the tower here. So Virgo, this could be somebody where you've had a tower moment with, may not always mean that. Um, maybe this person and you are not really connected right now anymore. Or this person may have caused some drama, right? This Queen of Wands and Warriors is definitely somebody very dramatic. <laughs> drama queen. So Virgo, you've got one drama queen who um, could be jealous of you. And all king, okay? It doesn't matter. It's not gender specific, but the two of Wands, here's in Warriors, Eight of Cups and Warriors. I do see this person sometimes tells themselves like, okay, you know, um, I don't think I can compete with Virgo, but they still find themselves coming right back, spying on you, stalking you, right? And I feel like Virgo, the Ace of Wands, for some of you, it could be you, start, you may have started something new, whether it's a new career, new, new um, relationship, um, something exciting as well, because the one is... Definitely a very exciting energy. And look, Ten of Pentacles. And maybe it, it looks like it's going to grow into something huge. Or, or um, that it has, or maybe you're already there. Okay, some of you are on your way and they can kind of see it. Some of you, maybe you're already there, right? Again, number 10, completion number, a perfect perfect number. So this person thinks, like, how, how do you do this? Um, how do you do what you do, right? Why are you so perfect? It's impossible that you're so perfect. And I don't believe in perfection, okay? Even though I'm also a Virgo, but I don't believe in perfection. But we always strive, you know, to be perfect, most of us. Um, and it, it can be a little bit annoying to myself. Now that, now that I'm older and I'm wiser, I understand that being trying to achieve this is why every time when i first started my channel right my youtube channel i would watch my videos like really nitpick every single thing before i post it but now i don't do that anymore because i know that that is going to hold me back right that's gonna hold me back from um posting my videos uh, on time and also, it's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if it's not perfect. I tell myself that all the time, right? Um, because sometimes striving for perfection will only hold you back than um, help you moving forward. The, sometimes, you know, um, if we, we think it's not good enough, we, we, we don't want to... Um, say, for example, for me, like, we, we don't want to post it because we're like, oh, it's not perfect. And I might end up not posting at all because nothing is going to be perfect. Everybody is going to find something is wrong with what you say or the way your table is set up. Now I've got a fan here because it's hot. There's still no electricity here. Um, and I could be drinking water and I get criticized by it. So I tell myself, F off, I'm just gonna, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? 
even if I try so hard, it still is not going to be perfect in so many people's eyes. So I'm just going to post my videos anyways. Now, Virgo, this is what I'm seeing here, right? Virgo, that this person may actually think you are perfect. <laughs> or they may think like, they may think like, ah, oh, Virgo isn't that perfect. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you why. Because this, 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 and that. I'm going to nitpick every single thing, right, Virgo? So, um, we've got eight of wands in one verse. I feel like this person has spoken ill of you, spoken bad things about you for sure when it's in one verse. Uh, five of cups, very disappointing things um, that may disappoint you, may have disappointed you for some of you if you already know who this person is. But I feel like this person is more disappointed in themselves than they are in you i think this is a very competitive energy and the judgment is right here see they are just judging you right left right center it could be anything and the king of cups here is in reverse you've got another energy here this king of cups in reverse yeah it could be a pisces cancer scorpio strong pisces i'm seeing here you may have someone from your past too this could be a completely different individual um whom you may have rejected in the past okay or there is a separation. This could be a romantic connection. I'm seeing here, you may have ended the connection, Ten of Swords and Wolves. Oh, they may have ended. doesn't matter. It could go vice versa. But I feel like this person is jealous of you because maybe you, you are leading a new life right now. Whether it's on your own or with somebody else or married or in a relationship or just accumulating a lot of wealth, abundance, in your life in whatever way shape or form okay Virgo I'm gonna pull out a few more cards here the Hierophant right five of wands in one verse drama 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 so you've got a drama king a drama queen <laughs> here uh, being jealous of you one I feel like well, at least one person is is were romantically connected to you in the past okay there's a separation between you two and maybe jealous again because you got a new person in your life or or you're married or remarried um or again it could just be you um looking like you've got a lot of your things ducks in a row um it's almost like you are a lot for a lot of you virgo to these people again you have a lot okay that they don't have they feel like they're not a part of it and then you've got this you got one drama uh, king and you've got one drama queen here <laughs> which just ends for some of you queen of wands could be a third party yeah so this is not for all of you a third party could be um a, your current person's ex-girlfriend ex-boyfriend or it could be your ex-boyfriend's ex-girlfriend or you know some some sort of a love triangle situation okay um or it could be the mother of the the mother of your person's children or things like that okay it's like a love triangle situation now you've got some of you virgo you do have one person uh, who may be involved with your person currently or in the past okay whom could be jealous of you comparing themselves with you um yeah because there's also three of pentacles here six of pentacles so don't worry okay virgo some of you it could be your your ex's ex or it could be your person's ex um could also be if you do know your person is cheating on you with someone else then could be that one person as well whom could be jealous of you because the six of pentacles indicate somebody feeding two person at the same time now um virgo the hierophant is right here and we've also got the ace of pentacles in one verse maybe the third party feels rejected by your person and then your person may have treated you or could be treating you right now if they're still in your life um better with more commitment with more respect or give you more right six of pentacles give you more of their time and the energy helping you or taking care of you in some way shape or form okay virgo this actually reminded me of another story now 
it's so recently actually not long ago about mm, two three weeks ago when i go oh for those of you if you want to follow my ig my instagram um, link is in the description box below and also for those of you if you want me to do your personal reading which is more accurate and it's tailored just for you you can book me okay send me an email there's so many options on how to book me through linktree or send me an email everything is there just take a look whether it's like a video call or um private recorded reading okay but anyway virgo so recently two to three weeks ago i saw this name that keeps appearing you know you check when you post a story you check who is looking at your story and there's one name there that keeps popping up in all of my stories and then I clicked on it, right, because it looked really familiar. I clicked on it and I saw this girl is Samba. It's my ex-boyfriend. My ex-boyfriend, this ex-boyfriend was like from, wait a minute, how long ago? Um, was from three years ago, okay? Three to four years ago, my ex-boyfriend. We were together only for six months because I found out that he actually had a girlfriend of eight years in Thailand. <laughs> I, was his, I was the third party without knowing, right? Because he told me that he was single and he was living in, the, in Malaysia and he was, she was living in Thailand. And then um, and I, I caught him because I saw on his Instagram there were so many girls writing, oh, you're so handsome, oh, you're so handsome, you know, commenting on his picture. And then suddenly there's this girl, the same girl with the same IG handle. She wrote, hey, what are you guys uh, doing trying to flirt with my boyfriend? Blah, blah, blah. She was kind of like getting upset with all of these comments, right? I was like, wait a minute, this is weird? Her boyfriend? Because at that time, me and my ex-boyfriend, we were together for like a, like five five months into six months already and I was like wait this is kind of weird which girl would do something like that which girl would just you know randomly go to somebody's account and say that's and claim to be to be her boyfriend unless that's really her boyfriend <laughs> so I I wrote her a message I wrote her and I asked her I screenshots like you claim this person to be your boyfriend but he's actually my boyfriend unless he's lying to me that he's single all this while right he's he's english by the way from the uk <laughs> and i in hindsight it's just super funny and she's like what i'm his girlfriend it's been eight years and she sent me all her screenshots of their latest communication conversation whatsapp conversation for like um just like two hours ago since two hours ago and i sent it all to him and he he's like no this girl is crazy he said this girl is crazy she she's in love with me but i'm not in love with like she has been stalking me and i sent her more screenshots of their latest um, conversation and he had nothing to say after that right so it's that girl from three to four years ago she has been stalking out of nowhere she started stalking my my uh you my instagram stories i find it so bizarre and um because she's from thailand and in thailand and even in indonesia like certain certain countries they would do black magic things like that you know um so i was telling myself oh, you need to cleanse yourself you need to cleanse yourself <laughs> who knows but anyway virgo this is why this Queen of Wands here in reverse, I feel like for some of you, it doesn't matter, okay? If you're still with a guy or not, it could be like an ex, ex-partner's ex who still wants to know what you're doing for whatever reason. Um, it's, 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 you know, here I am like minding my own business and here you are, Virgos. Virgos are such hardworking people um right six of pentacles so giving so kind and um the higher fun always doing the best that you can to do the right thing and here comes this queen of wands and what first this is drama queen right um and also drama king here <laughs> the king of cups and her is a bit of a drama king to me because 
um, they can be very emotional, so it can cause drama. So you got two people here, okay, um, whom could be jealous of you. And one is like, it could be a friend, some of you, but this could be also a, like a third party. If you were ever involved in a third party situation in the past or even currently, okay, for each and every one of you, it is different. But there is something here, the tower. Maybe something shocking has happened, something unexpected has happened. Also, that has led to this person feeling extra jealous of you, okay? Ooh. Maybe because you came back alive, Ace of Wands. This is like a very alive energy, right? Because you can see these little um, leaves growing out of this wand. So you came back alive, some of you, you can take it literally or metaphorically. And then the Ten of Pentacles here and suddenly, boom, Virgo, Ten, you know. Um, you came back alive or you started something new and then you're doing it very successfully, okay. Or started a new relationship, it could be anything. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or, uh, in some way, shape, or form. And I hope you enjoy my little stories as well. Um, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. It's, it's hot. <laughs> it's getting hot. <laughs> don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, again, if you want to book me for a private reading, all the information is in the description box below. It's way more accurate. And um, if you want to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care, Virgo. I love you guys. Bye.